Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I really fancied having a go at recreating this look right here from Alexandra Anel. Um, I really absolutely love the makeup she does. Um, I kind of really like the 60s, 70s vibes it gives. Um, I'm going to switch up the colours though. I'm thinking we're more for like purples, pinks and blues. Um, just to make it a little bit different. And I may switch up slightly from her look, but it's very much like the inspiration for today's look, um, something quite fun. So if you're interested, then please keep on watching. So it's always gonna prep and prime my eyes using the Lily Lolo Eye Primer. And I think for the eyes, she uses a lot of um, About Face kind of liquid, the liquid eyeshadow paints. Um, I don't have any of those. I don't really have too many liquid eyeshadows either. So the products I'm using will kind of vary from what she is using as well. So I might have to go more powders as opposed to liquids to kind of try and achieve the look. No surprise, I'm going to be using my Carnival XL Pro palette for this. Do you actually, sorry, I'm actually going to jump into the Colour Trip palette. I wanted a bit more of a lighter purple to begin with. Um, so I'm going to go in with the shade Freak here on a, it's not quite a pencil brush, but it's kind of a quite a fat, round version of a pencil brush. I use this to start mapping out the crease area. So I'm going to take it and kind of pop it through here. It's going to act as the base to begin with. So I'm just going back and forth just above the crease to kind of start a shape off. I mean the colour combo she's using is very cool. It's like greens, yellows and well greens, blues and oranges. Greens and oranges. Next I am going to take a pencil brush. I'm going to take one just like this. And do you know what? I will actually stick with this colour trip palette for now actually. Um, I'm going to take the shade Toxic, so a slightly more darker purple, on a pencil brush like this. And I'm going to really kind of focus this and create a bit more of that crease. I'll start off with a little bit and I will kind of build it up as I go. I'm not too worried if it's going to go on my lid because I can tidy that up in a second and with the lid shade I'll pop a bit of uh, eye primer back down anyway so that's fine so I'm going to try and keep it a bit lower than I've put that initial pinky purple shade so you can see that kind of real definition going on in that kind of more crease area. So I'm going to go with something like that. I'm going to try and do the same on the other eye. It's not probably not going to match, but we'll give it a good go. So Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go back in with a bit more eye primer now to lay on my lid and almost kind of cut what I've just done, just to make it a little bit sharper. Okay, so I'm going to switch back to the Carmel palette and on the lid I'm going to take this shade here which is Orchid. It's that same brush I just used for eye primer. A nice flat brush. I'm going to start packing this onto the lid. I 
And then I'm going to go back in with the purple and just re-intensify the crease section. I'm just going to take a clean fluffy brush and just make sure that first purple is a bit more blended up here. She didn't do that but I feel like it's because the first colour was definitely a bit more blended on the lid, on the um, brow bone than mine was. So I'm just do a very soft feathering. I don't want to blend the purple into the, the kind of pinky purple, just because I do want there to be an obvious difference. Um, but just to kind of blend the pinky shade out a bit more. Okay, so on to the lash line. Now I actually completely forgot I've got these from Depixum. They're kind of all over face type cream products. So she then goes in with like a white in her waterline and then slightly wings it out. Um, I don't have a pencil eyeliner, so I think I'm going to try using this as an alternative. So. I'm going to take a bit more of an angle brush and do the flick and it kind of just goes a bit more straight out as opposed to upright. But... Now mine did actually end up going a bit more upright than I intended to, but we're going to leave it there for now. Okay, so I'm now going to go in with a pop of pinks. I'm going to take the shade Trippy. On just a little shading brush. Run this along that lower lash line just right below where we've popped that white. got a lot of fallout with that shade, that's good. <laughs> right, I'll tidy that fallout in a second. I'm just going to carry on with the other side. Then I'm going to take the shade Toxic again, but on a very small to find a brush. This is going to go kind of in between that white and that pink. Okay, then what she does is take some liquid black liner, kind of over the top of that purple but slightly thinner just to really kind of emphasize that area there so going to the color trip palette i'm going to take these cake liners i'm probably not going to feel too much with this i'm probably just going to go for it and then not go over it too much Yep, I'm gonna leave that one there because I know I'm like, I might mess it up. Yep. Okay. Especially as the brush is being a pain now. Thank you. And then I'm going to get in with this cake liner down here, kind of mix with the purples and do one kind of along the upper lash line as well. And this is where mine's going to definitely differ because obviously, like I said, my flick at the end has gone a slightly bit too high up, where hers are a bit more kind of straight out. So 
mine has got a bit more lifted, a lifted feel in comparison. Now I'm going to get in with some mascara, this is the Lilo Big Lash. Now she does pop individual kind of like the three wispy lashes along the lower lash line to give it more of a dramatic feel. I don't have anything like that. Um, so I'm just going to go mascara and what I'll try and do is a bit more of a clump on the lower lash line if I can. Actually, I only can put a uh, mascara on the outer portion of my lower lash line and not on the inner. And then finally onto the lips. Now she's kept a quite a new, like a peachy nude, so that's what I'm going to do as well. I'm going to go in with Lily Lowe's Soft Nude to begin with. And go in with Lily Lowe's, <laughs> Lily Lowe's Nude Allure. And that is this look complete. So yeah, I really enjoyed the look she did. So I wanted to do something similar, mix up the colours. I mean, I've gone for slightly more of a high up wing instead of a kind of bit more downwards like she's done. But I really like how it turned out. The black line on this side went slightly wrong. But like I said, if you, it's kind of those things you keep playing with it and trying to make it fix it or trying to fix it. It just goes even worse, so uh, almost better to try and do it in a couple of swoops and then leave it and hope for the best. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, something a bit more colourful, a bit more bolder. Um, but yeah, I really love the look that she did, so I want to do kind of my version of it. Um, so leave me any future requests down below. Um, let me know your thoughts on this look, um, and thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all in my next video.